Hi Cancer, welcome to your after the retrograde forecast for couples. Now please take note that this is a general reading and it doesn't really apply to most of you, alright? And please check your moon risings as well, you know. See if it resonates as well. Anyway, I'll be doing four different spreads. Uh, one is how do you see each other? Um, hurt feelings. Where do we go from here? And the bottom line. Now... Let's take a look what's going on in your relationship right now. So, I will be doing the hurt spread first. Oh, Cancer, you're struggling. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, both of you are actually looking into two, sorry, into two separate directions already. Lies. All right. Looks like this partner of yours is kind of working somebody on the side or working to, you know, have a, um, like a, they have a little entertainment of their own. Okay, so how do you see each other? Wishing for things to go back how it used to be and your partner feels like betrayed. Now, please take note that this is a general reading, okay? It, you know, it could go reverse. It might be the other way around. It's up to you how you, how you're gonna fit yourself in a, you know, in this pride or in the reading. All right. Now you feel a little bit defensive and the need for protection. Okay, seeing your wife is your, uh, seeing your. Um, your partner is your destiny, and your partner feels like, shoop, you know, like uh, the need to cut off. <sighs> Cancer, you are, well, you're still looking at that, you know, the where you used to, you know, be happy, how you, you know, how you were before, and uh, I feel like, you know, there are a lot of misunderstandings here. And there has been a lot of gap. And since that you're already looking at the ocean, it means that your relationship has been drowned by too much of um, emotional issues. Okay? It's not just about the two of you, but I feel like there are also some problems with the family, you know, the uh, influences of your friends, colleagues from both ends. And I feel like there's just too much emotions. It's already flooding inside your relationship. And this relationship should only be for the two of you. You know, you're not in the market that everyone should be putting their finger into your, you know, into your business. Now, at this point, I feel like your partner is kind of having somebody on the side and they're already planning to either you know build a life together start something together or it could be that they are you know they are very out in public although they are still you know denying their connections towards each other but i feel like there is something you know there's there's something that you should be a little bit more cautious about or it could be that you're already aware of this so right now if you already have a hunch and you feel like it's only a red flag sign in the past but right now it's really a solid proof now you're feeling a little bit defensive and you feel the need of protecting yourself because you don't want to get hurt you've already been so hurt in the past so bad and he just couldn't really take it anymore you know it's like uh only your pride can be your shield at this point but um you don't really want to suffer too much of a humiliation and even to the extent of losing yourself okay now your partner is kind of looking into starting something small or starting something different okay aside from this 
even though this is your you know this is how your situation is your partner uh, sorry you feel like your partner is still the right one for you you feel like your partner is still you know the one who should be with you and you are still holding on to that one last hope that things could still pick up to how they used to be but your partner feels like it's just time to cut off it's just time to move on let's see for more clarifications well you'll be you know reaching into an um, amicable decision or agreement communications ideas i feel like this is all about divorce you'll be learning your lesson this person wants to start a brand new family um well your partner will always be the uh, you know the only one in your life but as for your partner you can you know they can have all the options that they can have right in front of them because they have a choice but with you it's like you just want to keep this you know relationship and if ever that you're the, you know the the two of you will be separating for real or divorcing then it's going to take some time for you to give yourself to others or to love again but your partner feels like okay go ahead you know if that is what you want if that is what you feel i'm gonna go ahead and move on with my life and soon enough that you will be successful in life soon enough that you will also be gathering much more strength success you know all the uh, luck that has been trafficked outside of your door because of this too much toxic energy in your relationship you know that because this person definitely doesn't even care how you feel definitely doesn't even bother you know with the hurt and pain that you've been hiding on the inside and this person couldn't even see the pain in your eyes okay so there's no love because if someone really loves you even if you're smiling and even if you say i'm okay you know yeah like don't worry about me i'll be fine the person could still see that you're lying and that person could even see that you are hiding a lot of things inside of you that's like about to burst out or about to you know like um explode so i feel like at this point you need to be a little bit more open-minded open your heart open your eyes it's time for a new wonder and it's time for you to explore more of your potential more happiness well enjoy your freedom as well you know and um because as much as you want to save this relationship or marriage i don't feel like the two of you are still on the same page anymore all right now how do you hurt each other you're struggling emotionally you are in fact that you are dragging yourself out of the difficulties that this person have already you know bestowed you and um, despite of the love generosity and life that you have given and provided for this person this is what you got in return now you know it's like even though the situation was like this for for quite some time or for how many years already you chose to stay and you chose to believe that because you love each other things could still change and you know hoping that one morning that your partner will wake up that you know uh, they still love you they still have feelings for you and um, your foundation your family is worth saving rather than temporary happiness but unfortunately your partner doesn't even realize that and the only thing that they know is that they are happy they feel beautiful inside and out and they feel you know glowing now as for your partner your partner feels like they just wanted to work on their own life they're busy working they're busy in their own life and they're busy making money okay or saving money yet on the other hand there is a, a younger person in the picture more like the younger earth sign you know that they've been going back and forth back and forth or that they have been like um constantly seeing each other and this person is already somebody from the past or they've already you know met even before and they just gotten back with each other or something like that 
Now, as for your, you know, as for your main situation, both of you, if you can actually look at these cards, okay, these two are looking into separate directions. The other one is looking outside the wall, looking far left, and the other one is standing on a hollow edge, and it's a snow. And this person is also looking into the far right. All right. So, if you would only trade places, then maybe that you could meet. But the thing here is, at this point, nobody wants to switch places. Nobody wants to compromise, and nobody wants to give way. So, I feel like if this is the situation right now in your relationship, it is much better for you to gain back yourself, gain back your freedom, and love yourself again. Start a brand new life. Don't look for love. Because when you're fully ready, and when you feel whole again, the love is the one who will go and find you. When the universe knows that you're ready, they are the one who will be, you know, gifting you with such true love or somebody that is worth loving and keeping and like this one now the bottom line here is the seven of swords in in rider weight but here it is more of an escape lies Th this is the bottom line if you try to stay the two of you will only be lying to yourselves and will only be you know, like trying to live in a very um, unreal world or unreal life. If you will choose to move on, then I feel like that is where you can only see, you know, a better path, a bigger path. Not a green pasture, but more likely a new ground or a new place to breathe in and gain more clarity where your life should be going because until now you're still you know you're still a little bit lost because you've been so hurt and it's like all the pain that you have gone through it has already melted all the confidence in you because of this person now let's take a look okay where do you go from here and the bottom line now, let's take a look. Oh, this is your main situation right now. Okay, both of you are being all high and mighty well both of you have reasons and both of you are standing on your ground this is what's causing the problem both of you wants to move on this is what you have forgotten to express this is what you've forgotten to respect your main solution your main aim now Well, where do you go from here? Let's pull out one more card. I feel like both of you already have an idea of where do you really want to go from here, you know? Okay. This is you. This is your partner. Well, you will soon be in the future. Field of healing. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, this is all the obvious. Um, anyway. You are standing in your own ground. Okay, it's like you really want to make a stand for this whole situation that uh, it's just really time to let go and move on because it's already obvious it's already happening right in front of you it's not just behind you but it's already right in front of you no, there's no more secrets no more you know it's no longer discreet it's no longer unknown to other people 
and you're the one who feels so humiliated for them now both of you wants to move on okay nobody wants to hold on to the relationship even though you feel like that this person has been you know once your world and once your your life but then right now you're just ready and about to give up because there's no point now you have been concentrating much on building up your finances financial security while the thing that you should have guarded the most which is your marriage or your relationship both of you have left it vulnerable okay there's nothing wrong if you want to fence your financial security and you want to build a stronger future for for your family but then you know part of the foundation or one of the pillars of the uh you know of the marriage you just left it too vulnerable that other people or other you know um well another person have seen it as a as a way you know to to meddle into your relationship in harmony and uh, unfortunately your partner is just way too weak yet even though they are like this they are the one who's been causing a lot of toxicity in your life they are the one who's been causing a lot of um confusion corruption as well you know corrupting your your uh, your behavior your personality your mind and everything else in your decision because they don't want you to think or they don't want you to make a stand for yourself and just so that you can just let them do whatever it is that they want okay now what you've forgotten to respect it's the truth if before you were already having some problems like for example that you don't really love that you know or you don't really love each other that much or there's like just a reason why the two of you have been brought together aside from love or there is like um too much of an expectations from your families communities society that's why the two of you are still together but you did not really you know become more honest with yourselves about how you really feel like for example did you marry your partner for the right reason or is it just because of an expectation or is it just because of an because of an obligation okay so those are the things that you need to consider now your solution you are trying to fight off all of your fears all of the possibilities that you know why it might and not lead to a divorce or separation but i feel like you just need to stop fighting it's just time to give in and i feel like you will just get pretty much stuck in a situation or you will be hanging so i feel like let the flame burn down all those bad remnants of your foundation because it's not really worth keeping even though you've already gone through a lot of uh, things in the past but most of the time you were alone you know and this person is conniving with somebody that they're that you know that they are working with or that they're could be that they're reporting as well either they're the one who's higher or this person is the one who's higher and um i feel like there's like a betrayal that's been going on for quite some time already you know so you need to be very careful to reconsider this relationship to be built up again now bottom line this is how you feel this is how your partner feels and this are you know whatever that's in your mind you feel like as i've said you know you've already have that foundation before you've gone through a lot of things together you work as a team and all of a sudden things just flipped out and you know it, it turned out to be something that you did not expect it you are already starting to heal or you're already on your way to heal sorry um now actually you're about to enter that space of healing okay so you're on the right path and you will be making a brand new beginning you're a magician i mean you can you know create a solution to yourself to your life to your problems and you're strong enough you have enough wisdom 
okay to go through this and to make a stand for yourself and the death card well it's a death and rebirth the death of a marriage or relationship and rebirth of your freedom so like what i said don't look for love don't rush and don't feel like don't feel the need of um don't feel the need of um what i call this um getting married again or being in a union okay now it's really time to be over okay it's just I feel like it's just really time to let go and you have to learn your lesson this time because you have tolerated this person far too much to the extent of losing yourself losing your dignity and for men losing your balls as well you know it's just time for you to snap and love yourself now as for your partner who is well, who actually appeared here is the devil, you know, is their solution. And the lovers, a perfect combination of somebody's having an affair. Um, they are, well, they are the one who will be acting more defensive. And they're hanging on the edge, okay? Even if it's really dangerous or even if there's no future, there's no stability, there's no assurance or security in this relationship. All they know is that they are happy. All they know is that they feel very in demand and more like a goddess, you know. Could be that they're very sexually uh, compatible with each other. But the bottom line, it's just time to give up. It's up to you to make a decision. But the cards are already advising you that this had already gone far too much. It's time for you to make a decision. All right, Cancer. So anyway, that's it for you for this time. And if you want to talk to me live at the phone or live at the calls, go and visit me at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.